companies and cities throughout the United States are moving away from facial recognition software because of perceived racial and gender bias. The United States federal government released a study from the National Institute of Standards and Technology stating that most commercial facial recognition systems exhibit bias, misidentifying black people and Asian faces 10 to 100 times more than white male faces. The wearing of masks in the COVID-19 pandemic also makes it more difficult for the technology to correctly identify people because there is less information available on the face for the computer system to match. The technology is also finding it difficult to differentiate between youthful faces, elderly faces, and differentiate between genders. This technology can be dangerous and harmful when people are misidentified, yet companies are pushing facial recognition technology in schools. The Lockport City School District and their eight school properties in New York State is adopting facial recognition technology in the name of safety. It is also important to note that in Lockport, black students are disproportionately disciplined. In the 2015-16 school year, 25% of suspended students in the district were black, even though enrollment was only 12% according to the Federal Department of Education. One. Early this year, with the help of Michigan State Police's facial recognition software, Detroit Police wrongfully arrested Robert Williams because he was falsely identified as a robbery suspect by the police's facial recognition software. He was released after being locked up for about 30 hours and told by the police that the computer must have gotten it wrong. The story is magnified by the American Civil Liberties Union in June 2022. The city of Boston in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts in the United States voted unanimously to end the use of facial recognition software in the city. San Francisco in California is another city that have stopped their government from using the technology. Democratic lawmakers also introduced a similar legislation for federal law enforcement. Edward Markey, Senator for Massachusetts, Jeff Merkley, Senator for Oregon, Congresswoman Pamela Jayapal, Representative for Washington's 7th Congressional District, and Congresswoman Ayanna Presley, Representative for Massachusetts' 7th Congressional District in the United States, introduced this bill on June 25, 2020. Senator Merkley said that between the risk of sliding into a surveillance state we can't escape from and the dangers of perpetuating discrimination, this technology is not ready for prime time. The federal government must ban facial recognition until we have confidence that it does not exacerbate racism and violate the privacy of American citizens. Congresswoman Jayapal said for years she has called on companies like Amazon to stop selling facial recognition technology that has not only been invasive, inaccurate, and unregulated, but has also been unapologetically weaponized by law enforcement against black people across the United States for far too long. Three, according to Joy Bulamwini of the Algorithmic Justice League, it is not an example of one bad algorithm. Just like instances of police brutality, it is a glimpse of how systematic racism can be embedded into artificial intelligence like those that power facial recognition technology. Joy Bulamwini, Dr. Timniti Gebru, and Deb Raji conducted studies at MIT that shows darker-skinned individuals are more likely to be misidentified by facial recognition technologies. The dataset used show that darker-skinned females are 34.7% likely to be misidentified, while the error rate for lighter-skinned males was 0.8%.
the study also showed how leading companies have failed to correctly classify the faces of Oprah Winfrey, Michelle Obama, and Serena Williams. Bulamwini said, when technology denigrates even these iconic women, it is time to re-examine how these systems are built and who they truly serve. For in June 2020, Amazon put a one-year moratorium on the use of its facial recognition technology by police, giving the United States Congress enough time to put appropriate rules in place. IBM took a stronger position, announcing that it would stop selling facial recognition products. Microsoft is also banning the sale of its facial recognition technology to police in the United States and push for federal laws to regulate the ethical use of the technology. Five. In April 2019, Amara K. Majid, a female Muslim Brown University senior who grew up in Baltimore, Maryland in the United States, was misidentified as a terrorism suspect in the Sri Lanka Eastern Church bombing by Sri Lankan authorities. She was in her dorm, not even in Sri Lanka at the time. In the documentary Coded Bias, they show a 14-year-old boy in the United Kingdom being stopped and searched by plainclothes police officers because of false facial recognition identification. The police had to wait on fingerprints result before letting him go, as the technology was wrong. The boy was black, underage, and no parent was present to give consent to the police. This was all done on the street. As always, thanks for watching. Please thumbs up, share, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Again, try to be grateful and think positive.